Hello everyone, my name is Teddy Bear and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my drawings I've made from the beginning of year 10 to the end of year 11 from my school I've made. And right off the bat, we have a Bowser head without a body. And this is actually not my drawing. This is a drawing from my uh, friend in school, which I'll be seeing him in college. But I won't tell you who he is anyways. So yeah, this is the drawing he gave me. But it's tracing, which means he used the picture below it to copy it. And it's very accurate. Props to him. In this next uh, paper I drawn, uh, shows each of the year of what I did on YouTube and such or how I felt throughout the years when I had a YouTube channel from 2016 to 2019 when 2021 there's no 2020 because this was made probably at the either the end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020 me in 2016 I said yes I can now I am now on YouTube time to make some YouTube videos and there's YouTube and me with a shadow so basically i was happy that i have a youtube channel i made a lot of crappy videos like, literally every single day they mean nothing they're all privated that i would deleted like they mean nothing they're not they're not on this channel anymore they used to but not anymore so that was how i felt so on the channel because well i had a dream of making videos since like probably either back all the way in 2013 and i watched stamping longheads videos which were back all the way in 2014 as well uh, which when Minecraft was really popular and then it died out after Elf Lee's allegations and such. I want to get into that. Just watch Sunny V2's video for that kind of information. But yeah, that's me in 2016. Me in 2017, which is me when I started doing gaming videos on my computer or my laptop I used to have. Now I have a PC. Uh, no longer a laptop anymore. Don't need a laptop. And I don't really use my PC much, so it's not really going to be a big downside that I can't carry around with me or anything. Yeah, so basically this just shows what games I played. The first uh, computer game I've ever played or recorded it was Finance of Candies 3, which is a Finance of Freddy's fan game. That's Freddy, that's Monster Cat. Monster Cat is the main character, or the main antagonist of the the game. It's weird how it's not Candy, because Candy is the blue cat, but in the third game it was a prequel where it was all the way in the past where it was just Rat and Cat, and where they look mostly fixed, but most of the time they look more scary. They look more buffed and such. And I love the game. It's pretty fun. It's really fun. I don't really... I played Ultimate Custom Night, which is the one... The only, like, one... Uh, Finance of Freddy's... Uh, Freddy's Pizza... I forgot what the game's called. The sixth FNAF game. FNAF 6. And then FNAF 3, which is... Yeah, Finance of Candy 3. Okay, it's of rambling. So this is me. Tab Hello, everyone. This is Tabor. Dot, dot, dot. Because I'm... To be honest, I actually do like drawing, how I'm just like sweating and it's just Freddy and Monster Cat right beside me. I was a lot more like confident with FNAF games. I'm a little bit iffy on the FNAF games now because of, well, if I go back to them, I would just get frightened out of nowhere. Because I've basically moved on on what games I want to play. So yeah, me in 2017 is when I started taking game videos a little bit more seriously. I took it a lot seriously in 2018, and plus it was my worst year, 2018. But I like this meme form format, which was, I think it was popular around the time, or was it later? I don't know. It's basically the Drake meme where he looked away yet when he doesn't like it, but when something he likes, he just smiles and face towards the camera or the picture. So, me in 2018, Fortnite, no, because I didn't like the game. Don't know why I hate the game. Well, to be honest, no one really plays Fortnite now, especially me. I don't even play the game. I just don't like the cringe popularity of the game. The game doesn't mean it's bad, but I think the game has gotten bad over time because of the updates I've heard about. And then there's me with Splatoon. Wow, I look really surprised. I look like Jake the Dog from Adventure Time when I'm surprised. Because I like Splatoon, and I still play Splatoon to this day. I, I, have, I have an addiction with Splatoon 2. Please help me, guys. Then over here is when I take a long break. The longest break I've ever taken on YouTube was like four months, and it was all the way back in 2019, about two years ago. Uh, there's a few videos you might tell with the video i mean i'm not going to tell you which videos there are but just it says me in 2019 and there's me holding a sign all right i'm gonna head out another meme uh, then there's pokey's arm it says which he meant we're taking a break or should i say which he meant we're taking a break because i voiced pokey he's my character yeah and then there's my uh, sign super table bros and there's a door and, it, and it's on the sign it's because i took a lot because i've not really been taking a lot of breaks throughout the first three years 2016 17 and 18 but 2019 i've had a lot of break uh, for, i had a very long break the longest i've actually ever taken was four months which, which i've already talked to you guys about anyways next paper 
Let's go quickly. Uh, I don't remember when I made this, but this is just a, a small picture of our heads. Tabor, Pokey, Bowser Jr. do it. Now the channel kind of focuses a little bit more on Tabor, Pokey, Monkey, and Sid as the four main brothers. Because I'm kind of taking a little bit more of stepping back a little bit more on the non-original characters, such as Junior and Stuart. You guys might be wondering with the channel and such. Sorry, the picture was upside down. It says, life is in a freaking shoe. And it's Cooper looking kind of creeped out. And it's just an unfinished shoe car. It's basically a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe vehicle, which I really like. It's called the Bounder. In America, it's called the Sneaker. You guys might know what that vehicle is. It's the shoe vehicle. Because I like its design and such. And I like having Cooper. Because Cooper is my favorite Mario Kart character. And yeah, I didn't get to finish it. Because there's too much details. And it was getting boring for me. Then there's a lot of stats on the wheels. I'm not going to talk to you guys about it. Because obviously you, you might. If you're a big nerd like me. You probably would know all the stats by now. Then there's more. Don't care about that. There's me. Upside down first off. Here you have my facial impressions. This was supposed to be a paper where I have all different types of facial impressions to fill up the entire paper. But I didn't even bother to like get, did a third one after the second one. So I only did happy and sad, so that's it. Because it was kind of getting not really my interest. It's just repeating Tabor's face, but just multiple times. Yeah, it was made ages ago. This one is Pokeverse. So this is a paper of four, eight different versions of Pokey. You have a Funky Kong style Pokey. This is how I draw Pokey, so yeah. He's a really cool design character, so I just think of what if Pokey was like in a Funky Kong kind of costume or clothes. So this is what he would look like. Then there's Dry Pokey, a skeleton Pokey. Not really original, it's just Pokey with big eyes with yellow pupils. Then there's a Powerpuff Pokey, which I think it might be one of my favorite ones. Then Pal uh, Paper Pokey, which is just the small Pokey. Then you have Sapello Art Style Pokey, which has a big squash head because I know it's Sapello's Art Style. It's just, it's really meme -y. I like it. Minecraft Skin Pokey, nothing too special aside being blocky. It was kind of annoying to try and make sure all the pixels were like lined up. Then you have Uganda Pokey, not too special, just derpy. Then you have Sonic Style Pokey, which I kind of find it kind of cursed because it looks like Sonic wearing a specific suit or got his skin swapped or something. Anyway, so this one. It's a bit of a weird one. So, this is the villagers. This is the real realistic villager heads. You have the normal villager, then you have the witch, then you have the vincigator. I was thinking of making the evolker and the pillager, but that would kind of... It will basically be the same heads. Then you have the cave dome, which is one of my drawing characters, which I made all the way back in 2017 in school. Don't ask me why I made it. It's just... It's basically a dumb-looking cave car a caveman kind of character. Then you have... Yeah, this. I'm not telling you that is. You get what this. And then this is supposed to be one of my dogs, Eddie. Uh, yeah, he he looks really confused with Daddy Pig as part of World War Two. So, anyways, move on. Bird Homer. Don't ask me why. I just like Bird Homer. And then this one is quite recent. One of the last comics I've made before leaving school and such. So, each of them are just describing each character. There's me, there's Pokey, there's Sid, and then there's Monkey. So, here's me. It says, hello everyone. There's me saying, hello everyone, this is Tabor, and welcome back to another reaction video. And then this is what behind the camera is, Pokey recording. This shtick, or this shtick, will do the trick. And then just hit the camera with a stick. It's because he's so short, he can't reach the camera. So, he has to use a stick somehow to click on the camera, on the stand. Even though, in reality, I just hold the camera. Anyways, yeah. Pokey, uh, this is a joke that I played around with my friends in real life uh, with uh, Pokey as a me in uh, Smash Ultimate and I dressed him up as a wizard so this is him. Uh, he says, now it's time to show who is the real small schmoor around here which is an inside joke between me and my friends and this is one of them, uh, I called him, for now I'm going to call him uh, Sackboy and he says, oh no I am so scared of magical ones, he's pretty good at Smash Ultimate. Yeah, anyway, so next is Sid. Uh, we are the champions, my friend. You get the Queen song. And then Monkey's like, thank you, I guess, because he was playing the game and Sid is just celebrating for his win. I guess Mario Kart, I guess, I don't know. Then this is Monkey. I don't know about math. I know 2.25 centimeters is not 6 foot 5 foot feet. He would have been way taller. He would be probably over 7 foot, but I don't know. 
Then there's my actual height, 1.71 centimeters, 5 foot 7 feet. Uh, Pogi's height, which I what, like to believe him to be really short, like below 5 feet. And then Sid, a little bit taller than I am, but not as tall as Monkey. Monkey's way taller than Sid. I mean, you can tell from the videos anyways. Splatling stats, no one probably cares. More Splatling stats. More Splatling stats, which is Splatoon 2 I'm talking about. Uh, my idea is for Splatoon 3, yeah. Okay, you know what? Since Splatoon 3 is kind of around the corner, I will just go through them. Uh, what I want for the Splash of Union Era Spray gets a combat mode where whenever you jump with the weapons, you can gain more accuracy. So every time you jump, you get more accuracy instead of losing accuracy. But you lose painting while having more accuracy. And it only lasts 1.1 seconds before returning to normal mode. Is it? Uh, yeah. So basically, I want the Junior and Aerospray to like have at least some fighting combat instead of just being boring pain weapons. Anyways, next, the entire Blaster class gets a massive amount of reduced RNG when jumping with them. Because with Blasters, you're very accurate, but when you jump, you become inaccurate. So there should be a massive decrease of RNG, so you don't actually miss your shots that easily. Because you're already slow enough and can't paint well. I don't know why they make it have RNG. And it says, but the indirect uh, explosion hitbox gets reduced in size. Only a little bit. It's because, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more annoying with a direct... It'll be easier to get direct direct shots so just to make it a little bit more fair and just make it smaller indirect then one of the charges called the goo tuber will now be able to charge two times two full charge shots in one go if you only charge one charge once or the charge one and a half a charge shot you'll be able to fire one full charge shot as your first shot and either fire or charge continue charging the second charge as your first charge which changes uh, as your second shot or not uh, because if you fully charge with two full charge shots on the GooTuber it'll go poof, poof. but if it's one and a half it'll go poof, and it goes poof. but it's just a smaller shot or it's like you release and then you re-grab the shot so it's like you get one shot and then you're already halfway through to get another one something like splatlings basically but as a charger which sounds really cool so this is the kind of future patch, no patch notes I want to see in Splatoon 2 but I probably would save that for another video for more Teddy Bear channel, so probably not talk about it. Uh, each weapon variance I want to add in the game, which I think that will be saved for another video idea. This one's just each, uh, this is just boring stuff. This is all just showing like each weapon with the same server special, basically. Uh, this is a weapon concept idea of what I want to see in the future of Splatoon, or what weapon I want to see. And I might save this as another video, so I'm gonna move it along for now and piece of paper yeah anyways that's it that's all the drawings i thought this could be a lot longer because i thought there was gonna be a lot more but it's just a lot of like statistics uh, statistics uh, on splatoon 2 mario kart all that i'm saving this as a future video but on the second channel called teddy bear so i want you guys to make sure to subscribe to that channel and subscribe to this channel turn on notifications for future content the next video is definitely, I hope so, definitely be an STB episode video, I almost said movie, uh, episode, which is going to be a monkey and pokey video, which I did promise in the last video, I promised you. Anyways, uh, see you guys in another video, bye.